So I wasn't somebody who went to Harvard and Yale, got an internship for the federal judge, wound up in Washington, and kind of wound up in the, in the White House. I came from a track of on the political campaigns. And you know, at the end of the day, you might have a thousand p- people working on a political campaign, but there's about 10, you know, maybe less that are, that are really calling the shots, making the decision about how to play an extremely complicated game. Uh, that's, that's one of the greatest, just stepping back from all the politics, politics being right? complicated game. It is, it is a, it is the greatest non-lethal competition in the world is the race for the presidency of the, of the United States. It's a, it's an intense nonstop experience. And, um, you know, my experience of, of having lived out there in the country, I think definitely prepared me better for it. For those three campaigns. You, yeah, yeah, three campaigns yeah. you so, so let me ask, so uh, you ever seen a movie Moneyball with uh, Billy Bean yeah, and yeah, Brad Pitt? Of course, okay. yeah. So we've had Paul Manafort here. We've had yeah. Roger Stone here. We've had a lot of different kinds of people here to get perspective. We've had Jen, Jenka uh, uh, Uger from Young Turks. We've had a lot of people, yeah. Cuomo. And I ask the people that are in the space. In baseball, they finally figured out that the most important stat for a hitter is what? On base percentage. That's what matters. Mm-hmm. If you want to, you know, sell the audience, you got to hit home runs. But if you want to win and go into playoffs, it's on base percentage, right? Roger Stone talks about certain it factor that a person's got to have, right? Just a couple nights ago, we're having dinner, and I'm talking about why some content creators do very well. And we wrote out a bunch of different names, and we gave all of them grades, okay? And the highest grade, I think, was Rogan had the highest grade out of everybody, and these are four things we wrote it on. Number one is content. He can pretty much talk on almost many different Mm -hmm. levels of content, right? So what is the content you're providing? Number two is entertainment. You're entertaining to listen to. Number three is personality. It's an attractive personality Mm -hmm. that you have. It's not an annoying, obnoxious personality you don't like. And number four is storytelling. You're good at telling stories, right? Now, that's for Mm -hmm. content creating. In politics, um, and in, in sports, you know, I'll talk to Shaq. Or Kobe, and I'll say, what, what matters the most? Superstar, GM, or team owner to, to win a championship? Head is it, coach. Or head coach, right? If you own a t- is it is it the owner that makes the team win a championship because he's committed to a championship, so he spends the money? Is it the head coach? Is it the GM? Or is it the superstar you got to get like a, you know, Giannis or LeBron or Kobe or MJ, right? What is that? For winning elections, whether it's governor or president, for you that's been in this space your entire life, okay, and you're a killer. You're hated by those who can't stand you because you're, you can get as dirty as anybody else. There was a part that, you know, I think in the interview, 60 Minutes that was doing an interview with you guys, and they asked, it sounds like you're willing to get as dirty as possible to make sure this man doesn't win. They're like, yeah, absolutely. It wasn't like you guys were hesitating. You're not trying to be, well, no, not re- that's not your play. your play. You're just like, no, this is who we are. We want to make sure this guy never wins and doesn't step another foot in the White House, right? Okay. From your experience, to get somebody to win, what things do you need from the supporting cast? And then from the other side, what qualities does the talent, the candidate need to stand a chance at winning? So at the beginning of the Bush campaign, the, it's clear that John Kerry is going to be the nominee. And so the Bush campaign turns on. And I, had, I was in charge of anything that had to do with John Kerry. It's kind of the tip of the spear in the in the campaign. And so as the campaign turns on, if we were a football team, our first 10 plays were three turnovers, personal foul, two offsides and a delay of game. And we get a call about 10, 12 of us. And it says, be at the White House after after uh, after work. Uh, You're going to meet the president up in the residence. He wants to talk to everybody. And we were like, oh, fuck, like we're getting, we're getting, we're getting fired like a week into this. Um, and so we go up there and and Carl Rove is sitting there. The president walks in. He was in a really good mood. And um, you know, Bush is a Bush is an intense guy. Um, I think we see him on TV now. Like, you know, I, I look at him like my dad. Right. He's mellowed out a little bit. He spent you know, all the time painting. Yeah, like he's a, but he was, he, he was an intense guy, and, and he came in, and a question he asked, he goes, who's the most experienced political consultant in the room? And everyone looks at Rove, and he goes, it's me, right? He goes, he goes, he goes my dad's 80, 84, 88, 92 campaign. He goes through a, this whole thing. 
And he says, American presidential campaign has an accidental genius to it in that it never ends. Right. In Canada, they have an election. They call it right. It's going to be in 90 days or in Britain, 120 days. This goes on for years. And what he says is. This is a character test. He goes, all my flaws, you guys will try to cover them up, mitigate them. He goes, it never work. Never work. As you go, he goes, he goes, you are seen for who you are. Now, David Axelrod, he expressed this by saying, it's like an MRI for the soul. That's what a presidential campaign is. And so Bush at the end of this meeting goes, he goes, we're going to win. He goes, because John Kerry's an asshole. <laughs> right? right? Bush, says this. Bush, Bush says this at the at the meeting, right? But I've always had that frame, right? It's a character test. So so in the campaign, what do you need? You need harmony, right? As an organization, you need vision to communicate to the country. Uh, typically, uh, and what will happen again is a frame and a lens of what we share in common. What unites the American people, a vision for moving the country forward uh, with a recognition that at the end of the election, right, we're all living here together and all of our kids are going to be living here together. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.